<laughs> it is a very, very long night tonight, and it is a night for you to take advantage. Vampire the Masquerade, Blood Feud, a mega board game. They were the ones If you're a vampire, of course, you're going to be building your forces by drinking and by turning them into the forces you need amongst your people. If you're a human, you're going to be rallying together and bringing your forces together. Vampires and humans can get along sometimes. It's okay. You can actually ally with one another. Allies, you can work together. You can kill each other. It's all up to you. There is only one winner in this game. You will have cards called legacy cards. The legacy cards are basically how you win for your victory points. What I bring you over here to the council. Think about who wants to be that person and be really political and stab each other in the back. At the marketplace, you will be buying and selling edicts that you'll be using in the cityscape. You will hand those over to that individual so they become more powerful, more devastating, and you destroy your enemies. You earn victory points to win. The cityscape is that place where we do kind of the area control. Because when we'll be moving troops, we'll be placing barricades, we'll have power, using big, important things to do. Attacking, drinking blood, assassinating the person in the room. Side of the room there, this kind of open area is the neutral zone. Pull them on over to, because you don't want everybody to hear your plan. blood feud in the streets was really good, really good to represent that side of things. Um, so yeah, so there's that fine that was really good. What was more difficult was um, if you were more of an extrovert, it was easier to get your point across or to get you know, your, uh, your actions done. Whereas if you were maybe not so comfortable with like putting yourself forward, that felt a little bit difficult to kind of get your point across. Um, but yeah, it was all good fun. And uh, there was uh, some few little uh, immersion stories that came out of it trying to kill certain characters and completely failing in the process was very interesting. Um, okay. A lot to learn, a lot to take on board, but splitting teams up into different uh, stations was really useful. Um, and there was definitely an aspect of kind of not quite knowing what other people were doing, and that kind of added a bit to the mystery. Um, you saw the people doing things, you were like, what's going on over there? And I, uh, yeah, that's quite interesting to kind of see how that kind of panned out and added a bit more of a mystique.